Welcome back in as it's now time for our weekly focus. Framingham is home to several beautiful murals. Now delighting in the eye catching designs is one thing, but what about the meaning behind them and the artists who created them? The frames Mackenzie Wright caught up with the creatives behind two murals in particular, celebrating the Sudbury River at the River Floodgates in Saxonville, as well as the We Are Here mural located at the Amazing Things Art Center downtown. Our story begins in Saxonville with artists Mia and Lena. Their close relationship led to the creation of a mural that honors the connection between the Sudbury River and the life it supports around it. We caught up with them to learn more via Zoom as their work has since taken them out of state. Seeing people who may not encounter your work ordinarily in say a gallery setting, seeing like all types of people, people from all demographics um, interact with your work is like a really, really beautiful experience as an artist. Art for all, public art is, is the way. Working large just has a big impact and you can't ignore it and it's fun. Whenever I do a public art piece, I'm just like, wow, this is way more special um, <laughs> because you just get to like every day meet people who you're impacting. We've always wanted to do a mural together and then our work sort of aligns naturally, like comes together in nature and like the figure and abstract color. And then the fact that the project was literally two different sides of the road was like, okay, perfect. You have a wall, I have a wall. Let's design things that sort of bounce off of each other, but can still speak to like our unique visions right now. I think both of us have sort of like a spiritual connection to nature and our work and, and kind of um, think of things poetically. And the river is just a beautiful allegory of, you know, letting go of things in life and things flow in and things flow out. I used to work at the, um, Saxonville Mills for a few years. I had a studio there um, and I would go behind the building into the river there and just kind of like the feeling of of being there um, is what I wanted to portray. As much as it was about nature, it was also just about people and like these are the people that will have to protect the river and these are the people that live around the river. So for me, like I knew I really wanted to, to do a figure. I painted Lena and I was like, okay, perfect. This is someone who is, you know, from the community. I just had her be a lovely lady interacting with the, the birds on the river. At least for me, I hope some people like really plug in and really get it and just clicks with them. And like, I've definitely had those moments like, oh, oh my gosh, and I feel this. And I think even if I get one person <laughs> for each piece I make, it's like completely worth it. Especially for public art, it's just the, the magic of coming upon something you didn't expect. Mm. And in that moment of giving someone pause and like reflection, I feel like art just touches people's hearts immediately. It's an immediate feeling. It gets people thinking, gets people talking, like the thought process behind it, why, why the location, why now, you know? It just feels like it starts conversations. I've witnessed people walk by and kind of just stop, like on the sidewalk there, and just kind of be like taken away from it, and then they turn their head a little bit. Initially, um, the Lens came from the frustrations the youth were feeling in our community, specifically after um, George Floyd. There was a lot of marches in our community that were really led by the youth and the teens and um, in different spaces. Um, but after that, there was a lot of um, push to, to kind of say that they're being seen, but the youth were not be feeling like they were seen. It's from all of us, it's like from all the youth, it's like from all that we were feeling and all that we're still feeling in the community, in the world. The idea was approached to us and they, they were like, we're, we're doing a mural and what we wanted to be in the mural, it was, for me personally, it was like, wow, like people are listening, they care about what we think, they care about our ideas and then when I was able to get like the side profile of what I wanted to put into the mural that was my own and my own like voice to project out there it was also like even more of like a 
I matter, my voice matters. I just took what the input from the youth and what they thought of. Um, it started with first just an image, um, kind of like what they, what we wanted the image to say and um, what we wanted the viewer to kind of like take from it. And then from then on, uh, actual putting, like putting words and dialogue on the, on the, um, the piece and something that's like kind of would have people or the viewer stand in front of it and kind of really uh, spark a conversation. I think specifically like this area, this part of like downtown, there's so many different cultures and different like uh, cultures mesh meshing together, which is kind of like where we got the whole idea for like uh, the quilt pattern mm -hmm. in the background. These different pieces coming together and being one. And I think um, that's seen a lot more and more in this part of the city. I've heard instances where people come here to, when they feel down, to lift themselves up and just feel a sense of themselves really. And that's a really good benefit from this mural. I feel like anyone can come down here and just take a look and feel inspired and feel influenced and empowered. It was the team at Discovering Hidden Gems, or DHG, that created the We Are Here mural. DHG is a community within Framingham dedicated to supporting the quality of life for youth through recreational and educational experiences. They invite you to get involved and continue their mission of ensuring all youth voices feel heard. You can learn more about DHG by visiting their website at discoveringhiddengems.org or you can send an email to info at discoveringhiddengems.org. They also have a multimedia book available inspired by this mural that includes coloring, journaling, and more. You can reach out to them if you're interested in getting a copy. 